Hi, it's Simon. As you can see, I am outside in the sunshine. It's currently, well, it's currently March 2021. Right now I'm in Tunbridge Wells. There's more of a view for you. And I'm making a video kind of in a strange mood. I'm both really happy. It's really lovely. So they had some lunch and I'm seeing my friend in the afternoon for a bit of distanced conversation. Um, we're still doing that here in the UK and hopefully very soon we can get back to, well, a different way of life. And um, it's been really quite a lovely day, a magical day, talking to some friends who are teachers, uh, playing football, again, all distancing out and following the guidelines. And at the same time, a little bit frustrated and I try not to be that. They didn't know me, I'm a Tai Chi teacher for well, over 20 years. Um, you know, literally, it's sort of like, how do you move your hand? Now, you might be going, he's just dancing, he's acting, that's okay, at least I'm here moving on camera. Generally, I like being on video and I like being on audio, but I like actually just talking to friends quietly behind the scenes. So that's like saying, you know, do you do, you do film and media productions? Well, I've done television, a Kardashian show, I've done other things. Um, often our work, we're not in the credits. So when you put things together and you introduce people to producers, they have the credits, but you're not in that. Now, I'm not saying I've done lots of that work yet, but we are working on it. The reason I'm talking about all of this is I'm really clear that how people think about data is changing. So when I trained at PwC as an accountant, PricewaterhouseCoopers, as an ACA, I got qualified in, as an ICAW Institute, um, we, we were really at the cutting edge because back then we were getting into what's now become this sort of modern age of Web 2.0. But back then you couldn't do that. You couldn't see it coming. Some people did. They had inside information that wasn't public. And so what am I talking about? Well, back in the day, somebody said I have 10 apples. Let's see this. Somebody says I have a wheelbarrow. There's a wheelbarrow. Now, this isn't my wheelbarrow. I'm just actually staying at a hotel. But there clearly is a wheelbarrow. There's clearly a grit salt thing. There's clearly one can of Coca-Cola. That's for you. You know I'm talking to my friend in the Philippines. So, um, Alma, there you go. One can of Coke. So, that can of Coke could be empty or full. It could be a magic trick. This isn't a magic trick. I'm not Dynamo. I do have an umbrella. Umbrella has some secrets to it, but it's not that secret umbrella. It's just my, my umbrella for my French Japanese umbrella. Very nice umbrella. So what am I talking about? Well, you might go, there's a pansy. You might go, Simon's being a bit crazy. The point is, I'm not. I'm very grounded in reality. I'm wearing my hat because I've got not much hair left and I haven't shaved today. But if you look online, you'll see me, say me, different beards, less beards. It's not a scam, it's just I change my look depending on my mood. When I'm into the work mode as Mr. Headley or Dr. Headley, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not said I said I had. I'm trained in various medical, medical things, such as John Ambulance. Afternoon. Then, when you're in that mood, it's important to learn different ways of operating. So, what are we talking about? So you have one can of Coke. Somebody puts in the system saying it's one can of Coke, it works. What size, what flavor? Was it Diet Coke or Coke? Was it a Red Bull? When was it made? Is it still accurate? Um, and all this stuff starts to point at auditing work and authentication work. And when we're in a modern world of the web, how do you actually audit that the claim of having 10 million users on a platform are real? You can't add them all up. How do you verify them? Oh, there's Simon Headley. Okay, well, there's 17 Simon Headleys in Kent alone, I found. Maybe more. That wasn't quite true. Maybe there's more or less. Who knows? And that's the key thing, to assume nothing and confirm everything. We've been teaching this for a decade. So I really am a chartered accountant, ACA, FCA, and those that want to, you can ask me and I can ring them up, give them my student ID, show you my receipts. Those that I worked with, they know who I am. And there's people like my friend Piers. You know, Piers knows me from my days at Tunbridge School. Other friends and teachers, Dr. Paul Thind, my father, Bill, Bill Headley. You know, it's not hard. My cousins, my family know actually exactly. However, if you saw me today, where am I living? What do I do? What assumptions are you making? Now you start to get, I'm not asking you to trust me, I ask you to think for yourself. And I'm a bit frustrated because somebody managed to misinterpret that FCA was Financial Conduct Authority. Now the FCA currently is the Financial Conduct Authority. Back in the day when I did it, was an FSA. So they keep changing acronyms and species, but Simon Headley FCA isn't saying anything about my Financial Conduct Authority regulations. It's simply pointing out I'm a chartered accountant. So the ICAW, this institute, which is some advisory work to as part of a focus group, wasn't paid a lot of money. And this whole thing were rebrand. So they were a thing called a BFP, a, uh, a business fund professional. So what am I mentioning this for? They managed to look at the wrong register, find it wasn't there, 
and then basically tell that to about 10,000 people, including clients of my clients and partners and friends and their girlfriends that went around going, oh my God, he's a scammer because he's got the wrong initials. Now this is both hilarious and funny, but not because the result of this, some people are very upset, some people are very stressed out, some people are concerned. Business deals that were going on have lost consequences. I've been very stressed. We've had to do 60 hours work for myself since all went started. And the irony was, We'd actually provide intellectual property, relationships, access. Oh, on writing, on video to this individual, which is unquestionable, the person was told the error and they've continued. They were told the consequences of their error being continued and they've done that too. So at a certain point, it goes from being ignorance to negligence to criminal negligence, the intent of defraud. And that individual's doing that to me. And I have real friends, a challenge cap and others who like me and know me. So I'm not angry, I'm just fascinated. It's kind of like, let's go a little walk here going, hi, I'm Simon, and over here there's some flowers. Now, there are people out here who said, no, that's all, it's all a CGI, it's special effects, there are no flowers. Great, well come meet me, come experience it. Because experience is not the conversation. Watching this video is not being here, feeling the sun on my face. These are daffodils, right? I know what daffodils are. I've seen them a long time. There's grass, there's mud, they have a smell to them. But maybe you've got COVID, you can't smell, so how do you assess things? You might see that and go, oh my God, there's a random umbrella being left there. No, I just put it there, went for a little walk. Not very far. But people massively misinterpret data. Now the challenge is, well, they don't have statistics or data and worse than that, they then spread it to other people. So as I said to my friend earlier, you can attack me. I don't mind that, I'm trained in martial arts, I really am. And I'll happily teach Tai Chi in any life. And I love teaching Tai Chi and fencing and other things. And actually we're doing that, my friend Dave, he's coming over later with his kids. Again, socially distanced here in Tunbridge Wells. You know where I am, come visit me, come see me. I'm not really hiding. So it doesn't take much to realize I'm about as real as it gets about things I'm real about, but I can also go, hello, I am French, my name is Pierre, but it isn't. My name is Simon, that's from my company, it's not Simon, it's not a name, Simon Headley, H-E-D-L-E-Y. And why I'm making a spelling point of it, because people have been spelling it wrong, H-E-A, like meant by there you go. One for sorrow, two for joy, just to say. So H-E-A-D-L-Y isn't right. H-E-A-D-L-E-Y isn't right. H-E-D-L-E-Y is how it's officially spelt. Simon Paul Headley. And I've been called Mr. Headley, Dr. Headley, Lord Headley, Professor Headley, Master Headley, Sir Headley. In all sorts of things. I've also been called Bedbug. I've been called Stinkpong. I've been called all sorts of things by nicknames and rude words and idiots and stupidity. It doesn't matter about me, it matters about you. So this video is me sort of being clear. I am here. I'm direct, I am wearing glasses, because I need them. You can see they distort the glass a bit. They're not fake glasses. I have got glasses without glass in. Why? Photo shoots, because the reflections happen on the lenses. That was an idea of my friend's Graham. So I've got lots of friends. And what's sad is there are people in my world who literally, in the last 24 hours, have had people putting up um, porn videos that aren't them using their modeling shoots and the people doing it are the photographers who claim to be their friends for years. It's upsetting. Some of those actresses are very, or actors, are amazing people, deep hearts, been in movies like Men in Black. And you might go, I don't believe you, that's okay, you don't have to. This isn't for you about believing me. I'm telling you why I get a bit frustrated and emotional. Because that person is exceptionally amazing. And she's hurt and upset. And she doesn't have friends and family that say, look, go for a ride, don't worry about it. She hasn't had military training, she hasn't had government training, she hasn't had press training. And she is so stressed out. She's already got an abusive boyfriend she's done to like put police stuff involved on. It's hard work. So some friends of me say, why do you always have this stress going? I don't, I've got amazing things going on. My friend Lisa, we love you, CEO is the best thing ever. Haven't checked that out yet, give it a loop. And uh, those who know the dog work will know the CEO is coming in that area. That's with code for them. Why am I speaking in code? Because sometimes you don't need to know I'm talking to. It's not your job to. Now, I'm actually talking about a song. Go to Google, you'll find it, see a great song. Those are quite adult. How's the coffee? Good? Very good. So my friends here run a little pub. What I mean by that is the night up down there, and in the summertime, we're having meetings down here for the Foxy Box Club, which you'll learn all about. But if you're not a member, you won't. And the sad thing is these people who spread lies Oh, my friend said, my father said, my aunt said, they're liars, cheats, and fraudsters, and scamsters, and don't worry about them. But I do. Because the sad reality is, people who could have been helped won't be helped, and I'm not okay with that. Because the truth is, there's no need. 
kind of like having somebody need to have an iPhone charger and they haven't got it. And as a result, they can't bring their mum. They can't get home in time. There's all sorts of consequences. And when you're managing communities and groups and movements, you may have noticed I have lots of interesting connections and friends. Have a little look through. Those people know me, they've met me, and I know how I met me and what happened. Now sometimes I have to raise my voice. Oi, stop it! Because someone had to start a fire. Think bad. Sometimes somebody's acting in a way that needs some correction, and I am a teacher and a trainer and a professor of many things, most of which isn't that well known, but I can tell you about Tai Chi and mathematics and geography and history and Latin, Salve Amique, and uh, ancient Greek, Kyrie, and French, je me passe Simon, je parle français, Allemagne, uh, 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 German, uh, Alice ist in Orden. I'm not the best professor, not like a university one and everything. Okay, Lei Homa, Ni Homa, Hajimashte, Grusudin Deska, Shigatawa, Arthur Deska. And I miss you, Mitty. Come see you soon, hopefully. And um, I've done photography and making movies and accounting, and we have fingers in many pies. And there's a project called the Super Pie coming up, thanks to April, or as her cousin calls it, Apple, which I found really fascinating to learn this morning. So I'm going to stop videoing now, it's about 11 minutes, and I'm going to start doing videos very regularly because um, a nice man called Steve recommended it. I didn't understand why, and now I'm starting to. And I'm seeing how it's time to sort of, uh, once and for all, be clear who we are. So my name's Simon, and if you want some help, give us a call, simonx.com. Not hard to spell, simonx.com. But that's not my business, that's my management company, that's my management group. They look after me and others around the world, celebrities, entrepreneurs, homeless people. We help people when we can for free, fee and a VIP. And I learnt the last bit, my sort of PS, so let's sort of wrap up there. But if you um, want to know I'm a bit upset, here's why. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the reason I'm a little bit upset is because, as you imagine in life and business, you meet people. And sometimes you have good information. Hi, David. And um, sometimes people don't show you who they are and you let them in. And sometimes you're actually asked to do a job that you can't really talk about. So there are people out there I know, like Richard, who run around doing work for the Met as underground uh, undercover police. So Richard, I haven't seen for a long time and you know, I can't even tell you who he is because he doesn't like being talked about, I miss him. I can talk to his, his sister, I can't talk to him at the moment. But one day Richard, come for lunch, have a good chat about King Charles Cocker Spaniels and all sorts of things. Now that may seem like I've all got the game away, I haven't, because there's lots of Richards and lots of Cocker Spaniels and lots of sisters and all sorts, I've got lots of cousins and friends. And So sometimes in the past you meet people that you wish you'd never met. And I've helped people make, they're, they're very well known authors and experts, not criminals some of them, but they're not people I like, they're not going to come for lunch, not at mum's house. But I'll meet them in a coffee shop and talk to them, see where they're at today, people learn and grow, we all make mistakes, we're all human, I am too. Other people though, are downright evil criminals and there are open police cases about them and court cases and tax things the sad thing is though that other people misinterpret data from the past now if i could go around cleaning up all that sh beep beep i would kind of what we've been talking about but when you go for a walk you know you get mud on your feet and so you wipe it off and you move on and um as they say that he without sin cast the first stone so my job today is not to blame anybody else. I'm trying to step forward powerfully into a new world, help others make a difference. I want to find out I'm real, go to iPrioritize, check the app, download it. It's a real app. So people can say, he hasn't done anything. Well, if you look at the simpleidea.com now, start making it more public. We've been doing stuff for a long time. There's app in the app store for a decade. Uh, there's iPrioritize and the Happy Thoughts app. There's the journal, pause, stop, reset. There's author marketing group, but ignore my groups. Get the real things, the physical things. Check out this real umbrella. And here's the truth. You don't know what's going on until you've seen it. Now, clearly, you might go, this isn't your domain, this isn't your website. Well, it kind of is, we make them. How do you know that I'm wearing them? But it doesn't mean I'm wearing it's mine. Back to the audit point, how do you assess it? How do you verify it? Well, only anyway, you can tell your own experiences. To do that, you have to come talk to us or see us. Because our clients don't know the whole story, it's the whole point. We're the producers, and we can tell you now to copy that. See you soon, copy that, sir. Bye for now.